Did you know we actually have a superhero in India Hi. called Iceman? This is. Hi, I'm Abhi, and today we are in Ladakh. Ladakh is beautiful, but this beauty comes at a cost. This is a high altitude desert, which means the most precious thing over here is water. The rest of India is really lucky because we have rivers, we have monsoons, we have dams to give us plenty of water throughout the year. But not Ladakh. Water is important because every four out of five Ladakhis depend on agriculture for their living. But the problem is, it rains for only 10 to 15 days in a year. And that's the origin story of our hero. Today we are following Padma Shri Chevang Norfolk. Water is one of the most important for the farmer. You know, without water, the farmer can't do anything. You know. During those days, our half of the mountain used to be covered with the glacier. You know, now you can hardly see that very small white white spot on the peaks. So the melting glaciers wouldn't reach the villages in April or May when they needed the most. So you know the fun part is actually Ladakh has a lot of water, but it's hidden. It's hidden in the form of ice. And when it melts, it flows through the Indus River and reaches our beloved neighbors. So Chewang Norfel thought, I thought if I could conserve this wastewater in the form of ice, it can be helped to the farmers. With that idea, I start to make an artificial glacier. What's an artificial glacier? Let me explain. The science behind an artificial glacier is very simple. Instead, you can't freeze water that's running. So you try to slow it down so that the cold temperatures of Ladakh's winter freeze the water. So in the summer, when this water melts, it keeps flowing into all of these villages, seeping in, increasing the groundwater and helping farmers over here cultivate their crops. This is a river and look at the flow. All right, It's very fast right now. So then because of the velocity, it will not freeze. So for example, look at this. All right, This slows down the force of the water, the speed of the water. So then the water over here will freeze and later on it can be used for various purposes. It is one of the most easiest technique as well as a low cost and highly beneficial for the farmer as compared to making a dam, you know. This is a revolutionary way of making low cost dams in a cold environment. But nobody thought it would work. So people felt he's crazy for trying. Of course, in the initial state, the people was not to agree with agree at all, you know. Nobody believes that it can be possible. Anyhow, that I try my best. Let us see. If it is possible, well and good. If not possible, okay. Today, 33 years after the project started, his idea has changed the life in Ladakh. The farmers who struggled to grow wheat or barley today can also grow potatoes. The story of a hero has a pattern. First, they laugh at you. Then they disrespect you. Then they say this will never work. Then they see it work. Then they start respecting you. And then you win. Chewang Norfell is a true climate hero because he converted a challenge into an opportunity and made the life of people at least 1% better. That's what heroes do, make lives 1% better. Do you think he's a superhero? Say yes if you do. It really pains me to say this, but India is a really cynical society, probably the worst place for a hero. But yet we have Chewang. Because he's not the hero we deserve, he's the hero we need. Real heroes don't wear capes. They give people wings to fly. And that's the reason why I love Eva. Eva.